Okay, I'm going to start off with one which I haven't read in ages. So it's called Six Inches of Normality. I'm not one of a beautiful people. Though not long ago, my face and body was that of an Adonis. That's until I noticed that every other man was also godlike. There's Brad and George and Johnny Depp. Jake Gilly Galley Gilly Galley, that bloke from Donnie Darko. Tom and Bex, Richard Gears to Lot, Robert Redford too, Will Smith could get jiggy just for you. I yearned to be noticed, so a new approach to celebrity was needed, anti-surgery. The first place to start was obvious. My oh-so-perfect knees became the world's nobliest overnight. At last I could wear white socks and sandals to the beach with pride. Next, premature boldness announcement. Lasers are passed over the required areas. I chose the temples and crown. What's left is silky smooth skin, sans air. The most unpleasant proce procedure had to be colonic insemination. <laughs> Waste matters and toxins will, and here I quote straight from the brochure, gently. Enter the rectum. <laughs> you will feel a slight pressure as it penetrates. The tummy untuck cost £2,000. My stomach now hangs over my jeans. A bloated awning above a pastry shop. The six pack, my dears, is sold last year. Now we shall have a moment's silence in memory of my shortened penis. Gone are the inches that brought gasps from girls. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing anymore. Replaced instead by six inches of normality. My girl wanted to be part of the evolution. She said, It's such a chore being so goddamn sexy. She wanted to be special again. Her birthday surprise. A trip to Arley Street. She spoke to the consultant before finally choosing the perfect pair. She now has the saggy breast she always wanted. Her surgery came with a freebie, bikini de-waxing. Hers placed precisely from the bikini line to the knee. <laughs> One need never be without leggings again. And as a treat to herself, she opted for the full face sink. Extra skin is added to the neck, chin, and cheeks. It visibly increases the signs of aging. We had walk graphs, lowered brows, varicose vein inducers, lipo production, builder's bum augmentation, air implants, ears, knuckles, nose, and back, and finally, injections under the eyes for added puffiness. We opted against anal colouring, one step too far. <laughs> now the surgery is over, and once again we stand out amongst our peers. And though the costs were astronomical, it was worth it just to look so normal. Thank you. <laughs> okay. This one's called Kids. Kids on street corners watch passers-by with hyena highs. The alpha male moves towards a spa, enters. 10B and H, says the kid. 
ID, says the shopkeeper. B and H, says the kid. No, ID, says the shopkeeper. No ID, says the kid. No B and H, says the shopkeeper. The kid leaves. There are days when nothing much happens. Uh, the next one's a bit more serious. Uh, kind of four years ago, I spent some time in a rehab for drug and alcohol addiction, which I spent more time than Pete Doherty, but probably less time than that guy from Rolling Stones. And I met a few people in there, and this is about one of them. It's called, I Never Really Knew Her. But I did know things that others did not. Why she had two and a half teaspoons of sugar in her coffee. Two for show. Half in memory of her dead husband, whose tooth was never quite as sweet. And she enjoyed the way cats looked down on mankind, as if they'd never really forgot a thousand years of Egyptian worship. She said the day for first drinks the artist, something we all knew and often thought. I never really knew her, but I cried when her liver called time. Fortunately, death, like that first swallow, gets easier with each one that follows. <laughs> okay. Right, I'll end with Park and Ride. Can we remember the first date with a lover? Let me tell you about mine. It's a funny story, and it's even got a moral. We'd just been to a restaurant for a bit of snap. My date suggested some slap and tickle. Never adverse at knee trembler, I agreed. She passed me instructions she got off internet. They read, just off the Great North Road, turn left at Cusworth Hall. Travel through Bowlby till you get to the straight mile. Dogging to be had. All along the side and in the parking area at the top. I think there's got a misprint on instructions, I said. Apparently, this be a good place for joggers. My girlfriend laughed and pulled onto a path bit straight mile. In no time at all, she came over all sexy-like and began whispering things into my ear. Things that they didn't hear in Emmerdale. <laughs> I want to put my bosoms in the face, said she. <laughs> I'd like that, said me. Put your hands on my bum and let the fingers have some fun. So I had some fun. And then some. And we kissed and hugged and had a fine grope. And in no time at all I was tied up with tow rope. I looked up to notice a pair of pale faces peering in through the windscreen. I began to understand. Joggers. <laughs> I wound down my window to be accosted by an hand. Gewa! I shouted. The great Aperf wants to touch me knackers. I leapt up, but it must have covered up my modesty and impaled my rear on business end at gear stick. <laughs> Ooh, Kevin, said a voice by the window. This one's just on a vertical shift with no lube. Get the bloody camera. <laughs> I looked at Kevin. Kevin looked at me. Hey up, Dad, I said. <laughs> Janice, we're leaving, said me Dad. Earlier, I mentioned a moral, and it's this. Should your parents save off out jogging? Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Emerson Lees, everyone.